Hello, my name is Ivan from Midas IT, and today I'll make a quick demonstration for you on how to use the Section Property Calculator in order to generate or import any section into Midas CView. To get to that tool, we go into the Tools tab and then click on Section Property Calculator. Here is the interface for the uh, section generation, and first we're prompted to choose our unit system. So I'll go for kilonewtons and meters in this case and click OK. In the section property calculator, uh, there are two main ways of generating our geometry, uh, manually or imported. Um, let's start with the manual uh, insertion, uh, with the manual definition of the section geometry. To do that, we can uh, first do points by coordinate and then draw different shapes using those points, or we can simply use the grid. In this case, I'll set up a grid of one centimeter uh, spacing and 150 wide by 50 tall. Click OK and then go to Show Grid and Snap on Grid. Finally, press on Zoom and Fit so that we see our uh, full space of the grid. Um, to start with the section itself, um, there are different shapes that we can generate. Um, all those can be found into Model, Curve, Create, or we can use the quick links on the left. I'll first start with a rectangular uh, shape uh, for the deck. So click on point one. At the bottom, you can see the coordinates of the cursor. So you can use those to get an idea of where you're defining, uh, defining your section. And I'll simply start from the top left corner and make the section 200 deep. So that is Y coordinate 0 0.3. Once done with the deck, uh, we need to also define our I section. So for that, I'll use uh, other line elements. Again, simply defining by two points, the line uh, is generated for us. Let's say our I section will be 400 wide, so that is minus 200 to plus 200 coordinate. Um, you may notice that I made it uh, slightly above the bottom. That is because later I will assign width and this uh, distance will be covered. And the same goes for the top flange. Again, from minus 200 to plus 200 and finally, we need the web, so that is from 0 to 0 x coordinate. You can see that quickly and easily our section has been drawn. Um, now, in order to quickly demonstrate the import as well, um, I will now start a new file and simply import this directly from a DXF. Again, choose the, uh, the unit system that we're going to use, click OK, and then go for File, Import, AutoCAD DXF. Here we select the file of our section, click open, OK, and you can see the section is directly imported for us. That is in case we want to use some um, complex sections where some CAD software might be more convenient to generate the section. Now that we have the section, uh, to finalize the geometry we need to assign width to the I-beam uh, lines. So to do that we, go, we can go into model, curve, change width or we can find the same fun sen function on the left. Select the width that we want, say two centimeters. Select the lines that we want to work with. That is um, the I-beam and click apply. And you can see that our, ge uh, our geometry has been defined. Now we need to define some materials for that section. For this, we go into model, material, and we get our materials list. Click on Add and define our materials one by one. The first one, for example, will be steel. Select the modulus of elasticity, Poisson ratio, and density. Click Apply. You can see the steel has been generated. So now we need the reinforced concrete, modulus of elasticity, the Poisson ratio, and the density. OK, and you can see our two materials have been defined. The next step is to generate our composite section. For this, we go into Model, Section, Composite Section, Generate. Here we specify a name for it, number of parts, two, and the base material. Click Apply, and our section has been generated. Now we need to assign some parts to that section. So we go again into Model, Section, Composite Section, add part. 
here we choose the part that we are uh, introducing a name for it say i beam we will include it uh, using line elements and it will be a material of steel so select our i section exclude the slab holding control and click apply and then assign part 2 which will be the deck using the plane type and the reinforced concrete material select our deck and click apply with this our section has been fully uh, generated and defined so finally we need to calculate the properties and export it back into excel to get the properties of the section we go into the properties and then calculate composite property here we specify a mesh um, the smaller mesh we use the slight increase in the accuracy we'll have and for this example i'll simply use 0 0.1 also we need to select a part of the section that we want to calculate so in this case I would simply click on the deck click apply and our section properties are calculated finally as I said we need to export that in order to use it in minus civil for that we click on model section composite section export here we have to select our section or part of it and then select the file that we want to use in this case i will overwrite this demo.sec section file and save on top of it click apply and our section has been exported to use the section we go back into my serial we go into the properties tab section properties add a section composite type section and here we have to choose the composite general then at the bottom we can select import from SPC which will prompt us to choose the file that we want to use select the demo.section file and click open choose the section from the section list and you can see our full section has been imported on the left there is a, ge uh, there is a geometry representation and here on the right we have the full properties of course we can look at part 1, part 2 or the total part click apply oh, forgive me forgot to put a name we specify a name for our section say composite I beam click OK and you can see the section has been assigned directly to the beam which I had pre-generated in the model you can see the full section is in and we can use that for analysis and design of our structures that is it for now I hope you find this useful in case you have any other inquiries, please don't hesitate to ask uh, to contact any of our teams. Have a nice day.